Hi, my name is Kevin Taus, and I'm the product manager for Adobe Flash Media Server, uh, working here at Adobe in San Francisco. And what I wanted to show you today is an example of some of our future technology that will allow us to deliver a consistent live video stream across multiple devices and over the desktop. So we'll be showing you some examples of uh, live video encoding uh, going to the Apple iPad 2, as well as the Motorola Zoom. And I've got those devices here, so we'll be, uh, be showing those uh, workflows. Uh, we'll follow up the uh, presentation with uh, an example of using Dreamweaver to create an HTML5 um, web page, and that live stream will render easily into that as well. So first off, I've got the Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder here. This is the current shipping <coughs> version, version 3.2. And as you see, I've punched in the uh, RTMP URL, which is our Flash Media Server um, URL and the name of the live stream. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, connect, which will connect the uh, live encoder to the server. Now in the video configuration, I've set up um, H.264, and because we are streaming to the Apple devices, our profile is set to main with an H.264 level of 3, and the keyframe interval set to 3 seconds. Um, the frame rate is at 29.97 and an input size of 640 by 480. And we're just going to do a low bit rate for this uh, test, uh, 256 kilobits per second. We're going to use an AAC stream, stereo, and uh, 64 kilobits per second. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start, and this will now start the encoding of the video to the Flash media server. And what I'm going to do is uh, bring over the uh, console. So this is uh, how we look at the server. And you can see that the video is actually streaming into the server uh, via RTMP. And you can see the single live stream uh, coming in. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you a video player. And though this video player is going to run in Flash, this is Safari running on a Mac. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you that it is indeed Flash Player 10.2. <clears throat> this video player is built using the open source media framework and I'm going to go and uh, click the play button and we'll remove some of the, um, um, the screen uh, artifacts here. So now you can see there's a live stream and I'll just um, move this over so you can see there's the encoder and there's the live stream uh, going into Flash uh, inside of uh, the open source media framework. And because this is HTTP delivery, you'll only see one stream going into the server, and the rest of the streams are actually going out uh, via HTTP. So now over here, I'm going to open up the uh, iPad 2, and uh, I'll log in. And we've got Safari open here, as you can see. And uh, this is an HTML5 uh, rendering of the player. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit play on this. and. Uh, you'll see that the live stream should, uh, should come in fairly quickly. Once the video buffer has uh, made its way into the browser, the video will start, and there you can see uh, a live stream. And this stream is coming from uh, the Flash Media Server. I can go into full screen and see there is, uh, there's the full video playing. Okay, next I'm going to show you the Motorola uh, Zoom tablet. And I'm going to go ahead and get this way. So I'll move the iPad out, which is slightly up here. And we'll bring in the Zoom tablet. And this is Motorola's um, Android based tablet. I'll just hit reload on this web page. Okay, and again, this is uh, the Flash Player running inside the uh, Zoom, Zoom's browser. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. <coughs> And there we go. There's the live stream running inside the browser, inside of the Motorola Zoom. Let's move that down. You can see that uh, the video is, is also still running inside of the, uh, the iPad 2 as well as the Zoom. Okay, so I'll just leave those here. Now let's go back to the browser. And uh, what I'm going to do is move this out. And I'm going to move in uh, Dreamweaver. And Dreamweaver, as you know, is our HTML editor. And what I've done inside of Dreamweaver is added a video tag, as you can see here, video source. And uh, I can zoom in on that. And I've just punched in the uh, server name. And you can see that uh, this is the M3U8 that we're going to uh, stream. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just save this as a new file. So nothing, uh, so we'll call it sl.html. Go ahead and hit save. And what I'm going to do is I will uh, bring back in Safari, and I will 
take out this URL and just go sl.html, which is the file we just created. <coughs> and you can see that uh, Safari will render out uh, this HTML5 uh, video file uh, directly inside the browser. And we can go full screen if we want to. And you can see um, there's the video playing. Now let's go one step more and I will go back to the iPad 2. Done. And then what we'll do here is uh, what we'll do here now is uh, go into the Safari browser and we will load up the um, stream that we just had sl.html. We'll go ahead and go. And as you can see, the uh, HTML5 browser inside of the iPad 2 has rendered the screen. Go ahead and hit play. And once the buffer uh, shows up, you'll be able to see the, uh, the live stream coming through. Play. There is the live stream. Okay, great. So we're now able to see both um, on uh, HTML5 inside of the Safari browser on a Mac as well as inside the Safari browser on the iPad. And the Motorola Zoom is still playing, and, and so is the video inside of uh, the, the browser running inside of Flash. And so that's it for the demo. Uh, I hope you come visit us at NAB, and we can actually see this in operation on our theater stage or in our demo pods. Thank you very much.